All right, so given that r and p are integers, remember integers are any pretty numbers, whole numbers, positive or negative. Um, they want to know which numbers are rational. And, ra and rational has that word ratio in it, so a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. And your biggest examples of irrational numbers are square roots of things that aren't perfect and numbers like pi and e that go on and on and on forever and never stop and never repeat. So given that, um, you could even just choose some numbers for r and p, like let's say r was 4 and p was 5, and so if you took the square root of 4 times 5, you get the square root of 20, and that's not pretty, so that's certainly not rational. Uh, here, if we took a 4 factorial over 5 factorial. Factorial means it's like 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, lots of stuff cancels, and even if it didn't cancel, right, you're going to end up with the ratio. You have no weird square roots, you have no e's, you have no pi's. It's looking pretty darn rational. So I'm liking b. Uh, c just kind of looks ridiculous because you got that e, and e is irrational. It's 2.71 blah 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 never stops and so if you raise it to a power that's not going to help it any so this guy is way out and this guy here this would be if I just plug in my numbers just for an example 4 times 5 to the 5 over 4 well 5 to the 5 over 4 that's like the fourth root of 5 fourth root of 5 is not pretty that's not rational B is my answer that's that.